Hello? Is this the SnowRunner mod police? I need this mod taken down immediately! It's so overpowered! Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this is a look at the TUZ Tatran JBE. Now, this thing is obviously a bit of a... I don't know why I went to the map there. It's a bit of an animal. And what I mean by that is... So y'all saw the video that I did about the Tweaked Pacific recently. Now, the Tweaked Pacific was really interesting, and it was really high-powered, and it could go through a lot of situations, but it was still fairly in the grounds of what could realistically be done. This, on the other hand, is just silly. I haven't driven it yet, but I've read the description on mod.io, and if the description is to be believed, I don't think I'll be putting this into my campaign playthrough, but I think it could be a very fun vehicle if you want to just, you know, go nuts with something. So, top engine-wise, we have the IMZ-16 5000T. Lots of torque, but watch that tank. I'm assuming it's basically a, oh my god, power to weight S+, plus, durability S, fuel consumption C-. minus. Okay, everything is max, so that should be a warning straight off the bat that this thing is going to be wild. We've got the special gearbox, advanced special gearbox, and the JBE transmission with nine gears as well as both high and low. So that's a thing. Going to go ahead and do that. Now we also have quite a few suspension options. JBE active suspension one. We've got JBE stock, JBE suspension HD, and J uh, suspension raised HD, suspension flex and flex plus so basically the flex plus is going to be your highest option with the largest amount of flex however well i mean raised hd is going to be a little higher in the front but that's only because he's distributed the suspension stiffness a little bit differently so let's go ahead and do flex plus and you have basically any tire option you could want including duels everywhere literally everywhere Front dually, rear dually, like literally no, no question about it. You could do whatever you want with any tire. It, it's, it's up to you. Even an, a, even ANK tires. That's really cool. So let's see. Currently, I, the highest, like the biggest tire size I'm seeing is a, is a 50, but let's see. Oh, the, yeah, the quasi double mud tires and the monster mud tires. They're here. Oh Yeah. This is going to be silly. JBE TMHS, so that's going to be your Tega tires. Oh my god, there's so much on offer here. We've even got the freaking 50-inch quasi-double mud tires. I, Dude, I don't know where you would... Oh, they're getting bigger. We got 51s now as well. Oh! <laughs> dude, this is so ridiculous. We can go up to a 50 three oh my god oh my god the quasi monster mud tires let's try let's try these let's try these and just see how they feel autonomous plus and spare wheel and spare wheel because why not and why not and we'll do a trunk repair supplies and let's see twin front facing snorkels snorkelinos and let's see oh you got leds and oh that's cool you can throw freaking light bars on the thing heck yeah that's awesome all right tall beacon and external horns sun visor sun visor don't need either one of those they look weird red and blue flasher bar why not this thing's made to be like comedic anyway let oh my god dude we could totally build a oh look at all these Look at all these. Dude, that right there, literally the red and white with the flasher bar looks like a wilderness rescue vehicle. That legitimately looks like the ultimate wilderness rescue vehicle. That is amazing. And I am totally, totally doing that. Now, aha, dude. Oh, this is so cool. Let's throw the dice in here. And, oh, but you can't do, you can't do the bobbleheads, which means we can't have beans. Man, that sucks. <laughs> It's like, really? It's moderately annoying there. Just a bit. Just a bit. But 
that's going to be our full build of the TUZ Tatran JBE, aka the ultimate wilderness rescue vehicle. And let's see how it drives. Oh, yeah. The, um, the mod police are not going to be happy about this one. Can it pull any trailers? Because it'd be super OP if it... Oh, God! Um, yes. So it can pull just about anything that it wants to, provided that it doesn't require a high or low saddle. What are the... Oh, the light bars work! Even the side lights! Oh, my God, this thing is so good. And the flasher bar actually flashes blue and red. That's amazing! Yeah, the mod police is gonna be all over this one because I can tar I can already see the people going, this ruins the game! And I'm like, you do not necessarily have to use it if you feel as though it ruins the game. But you know what? I, <laughs> It's hilarious. I love it. Like, if you just want a break from the norm, this is that on every level. Yeah, this is definitely a break from the norm. Let's see what the horn sounds like. It fits. It definitely fits. Let's see if it'll climb this hill. I'm actually surprised that high is not, like, a lot faster. Come on. Dude, that just, like, it walked that like it was nothing. And can I just stop for a second to say that the best thing about these JBE tweaks, like, truck tweaks, is the fact that they're not, like... They're not over the top to the point that they are silly. Like, they're silly in a fun way, they're silly in a good way, but they're not like your suspension is, like, stretched out to the point to where the 3D object is tearing, and it's not like, it's not like, oh my god, that's so, like, unbelievable that it's not fun. This is still plenty fun because it's just on the line of what's believable and what's not. And so I think for that reason, it makes his tweaks really, really, really fun to use. Now let's give this thing a little bit of a mud test. And also, by the way, the maneuverability is amazing with this four-wheel steering. Actually, well, technically, eight-wheel steering. I'd just like to let it be known that we went through that mud in ninth gear. That's not okay. It is, but it's also not, but it is. Let's see, second gear... Dude, it's just chugging it. It's absolutely just saying, ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Wow. That is like, it's amazing. And it's also hilarious. And it's also amazing at the same time. Oh my God. I could also totally see this being something that could come to console mods because obviously you're not going to deal with any like issues with licensing or anything like that. And this would be an amazing mod to have on consoles. And it would also be a really good introductory console mod to people on consoles that haven't really played around mo much with mods before. There we go. Oh my god. This is high range. It just It's just like soaring over these bumps. Obviously, it's like literally impossible for this thing to get high centered. But even then, even knowing that it's impossible for it to get high centered, it's still hilariously fun to do. Now, since we're here, let's test it on this muddy back road. See how it reacts to this, because this will sink a lot of trucks. Yeah, this is far from getting sunk, at least, at least so far. I don't see any sinking going on, personally. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And in fact... This is potentially the best performing vehicle I've ever taken through here. It literally is one of the best performing vehicles, if not the best performing that I've ever taken through here. I mean, I would put this right up there with all the mud trucks, the monster trucks that I've taken down this little trail. Now, granted, obviously those could have been updated since then. And so comparing those in past experience versus current experience on this is maybe not necessarily the most fair thing to this rig. But at the end of the day, I think it's still a really, really, like, it's a really great rig. And there's not much that can hold it back, really. Let's see what you can do, bud. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't expect that. Like, I didn't expect it to climb that. Oh, boy. Oh my god! 
Oh no! It's going over! Should actually end up back on its wheels though. Nope. It does not. But that's okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, well what do the winch points look like? Yes, please! If you do it at the right angle, it's super easy to get it flipped back over with the autonomous. I mean, it's not a hard vehicle to get flipped back over by any means. And so, I think if you if you set your winch points up correctly, you won't have any problems getting it flipped over. It's literally like, it's, it's almost like it's a space exploration craft, you know? It's something that would land on the surface of a new planet because you weren't sure what you were going to encounter. So you needed like armor and off-road capability and ground clearance and power and like... Literally, if I was going to land on a new planet that I was going to have to settle for a new civilization, this is the vehicle I would use. All right, sign. We'll see ya. Like, we'll see ya later, bud. Y'all know what, what test it's time for. Oh, boy. And you know what? We're not doing that test like that because we ruined, ruined the run-up. We absolutely ruined the run-up. All right, let's have a go. Eighth gear. Run it. There's ninth gear. Keep running it. Do not hit the edge and go! And that is where you will see the one downside with this vehicle is the fact that even though it has all this power, it's still so heavy that if you actually go to try to jump it, you ain't getting very far. This is not gonna happen. You're just not getting very far. Ooh! Before we finish this test, let's see how it does in, like, really deep, like, slushy mud. Because every truck that I've ever taken in here, I have found its limits in here. So, usually this is where, whenever you take a truck in here, this is when you find the truck's limits. Although it doesn't look like we're finding this thing's limits. It seems like it's like, ah, don't worry about it. Like, I told you, don't worry about it. Wow, really, don't worry about it, because, oh my god. Oh, it's bogging a little bit. Oh, but you modulate the throttle and it takes off again. It's got such great modulation ability and high, especially, like, in the mud. My god, does it roll coal like mad, too. But no, like, it doesn't even... It doesn't even care. Like, it's not even an issue for the thing. It just goes. It's like wherever you want it to go, it's like, all right, we're there. Don't worry about it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions on this rig in the comment section down below. I'm sure it's going to be a mixed bag uh, when it comes to vehicles like this. But also, if you did enjoy it, then make sure to leave me a like. And also, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I'll see y'all in the next video or the next stream.